Hence the mangoes, eh? Caroline made this stained glass and her beautiful house is full of tiles. Can I see my studio? Wow. Where are those three going, Caroline? Well, let me tell you, there's, this is half of, these are half of the project. Oh, I'm wow. doing a six panel project in the garden called the Desi Dancers Project. Um, Desi means Indian, Indian-esque, uh -huh. really. Um, it's like a pure Indian kind of vibe. And I'm going to represent different Indian folks from all over India, pre-partition India. So I've got a Pakistani lady, a Gujarati lady, uh -huh. I'm Gujarati. Mum's best friend was Pakistani which we were brought up without any segregation of Hindu Muslim thing going on. So that was quite an amazing thing for us to be, because we just took it for read that it was absolutely fine. You know, that, you know, this is, there was no prejudice is what I'm trying to say. But Punjabi man playing the doll. Tick, tick, tick. And I'm going to have, that's the end mm -hmm. and my panel. And this is the starting panel. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be, uh, three more. So the chap next to him will be a Rajasthani man playing a flute. Might be going like that or might be going like that, you know, one of those big bulbous flutes. And actually I might use a bit of crockery for the bulbous bit. So all a lot of fun to be playing with and thinking about. We're here having a look at the close-up of the Desi dancers and Caroline's beautiful cutting and textures and patterns of all the crockery with some lustre and some old-fashioned queen mother and queen. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, Wolfhamstow said where you're Oh, where I'm from, and you know, when they made the sign, they made the sign for the station, they spelt it wrong. Oh, you've got a little Terry's in it, oh, yeah. You've got chocolate. When they, uh, I just ordered some more. When they made the sign for Walthamstow Central and TFL, yeah. they spelt it W A T H L, Walthlaham Store. Oh my goodness. And it went up and everything, oh and everyone goodness. went, What's happened? How have you spelt it? So they had to take it down and redo it. Someone let it slip through the. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah. So started off with the mandalas and um, this was the first one and the first one is inspired by my friend Margaret's mandala that I did for her in Kidlington. So I loved it so much I wanted to do my own version. And of course I've used external tiles, I didn't need to but I love these colours so I just wanted to pop them in. So actually it's not too many of the tiles. You've got to be very careful and judicious when you're using stuff, just in case you need it for another project. Caroline is going to give us a demonstration of how to cut tiles okay. beautifully. I've got a purple here. Would that be a good colour to do? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Brilliant. So, my three basic tools are the side biter, score a snapper, and uh, a Toyo glass scorer, which often is used by glass artists, stained glass artists. So, for example, if I wanted to cut up a tile, I'm just thinking a brighter colour might be better than so let's let's use a cream. I can score and snap. You hear that scratch? Now I always use a pen so that I know approximately where my lines are. But with a side biter, you can go forward. You can use the whole of the side biter. Sort of thing. Do you neaten up your edges after you cut? I do, I do. What with? With, with this. So, 
For example, if I'm cutting a circle, let me show you how I cut a circle. So I'm using the back of the tar nipper now. So you can see the line? Yeah, so you can see the line, but you know, you're using the back of it. So I've used the front, I've used the whole of it just then, mm -hmm. and now I'm using the back. It's funny you call them side, side? Side biters, because you're yeah. working sideways. I know, we call them nippers. Oh yeah. Never heard the word side biter. Okay. That's a good one. Sidewinder sleeps tonight, or something like that, whatever the song is. Like so, you see? And go away from what you want, quick as you like. Wow. Very neat. Very delightful. What do you call that tool? So that's a score snapper. Mm -hmm. That, you know, it does what it says on the You score it first and then you snap it. It's got the scorer yeah. on it and a snapper. It's right. got a scorer on it, but I prefer using the Toyo because it's got a tiny wheel. Mm. So much more um, accurate, really. As the European Blackbird, Dave. sitting in my friend Caroline's garden, my new friend. I've never met her before. We were internet friends before and her garden is amazing. It's full of mosaics and amazing flowers. And now a beautiful blackbird singing away. Pen. Yes. Oh, what's the elephant for? Elephant in the room. <laughs> it's beautiful. Peacock. So, did you make the base and the shape? Yeah, I made the shape. Chip, chip the peacock. And um, unfortunately, um, we had a lot of frost damage year before last, so a lot of that is damaged. So that's why he's staying indoors. That's beautiful. Yeah. I go, what about covering him up over the winter like you do with... Um... Well, the, I, he stays inside. Right, yeah. Uh, 